looking for a property for own stay or an investment. So what you can do is you can stay here at the beginning and towards the later part, you can also choose to rent it out. Come with us today as Property Lane Brothers brings you to a freehold three-bedder duplex unit under the $1.5 million quantum in the city fringe. No, don't take it too far away. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so we're stepping into Gulamat Seeds and this is a freehold project at Teal Peak in 2017. It was developed by MK25 Private Limited and has a total of 146 units in this 402 square meters of land. Now what that means for you is that even though there are many units here, everyone here gets to chip in into the MCSC fee and that lowers your management fees, keeping it into a healthy range of about 200 odd per month. So a lower MCSC fee means that we get to keep our running costs low and that's important especially if we're trying to keep our rental yield on a higher side. Mm. So there are a total of three blocks in this unit, A, B and C. We are in block C which happens to be a little bit further away from the road and on top of that only the top floor units will have an option to do a dual key layout just like ours over here. It comprises of either one bidder, two bidders or three bidders. There are a total of only 11 3 better units here and only 5 of such units are a duplex unit just like ours. That is about 3.4% out of the entire project, making this sort of configuration a little bit more hard to find within this development. Now if you whip out the original floor pan, you'll realise that there are some differences here in the layout. This kitchen didn't used to be this long. They actually extended it from just this space here all the way to the other corner. You will notice that this area also was originally a study, but they converted that side over there into a storage as well as a place for them to put the dishwasher. In terms of renovations, the owner has spent about $70,000 all in. So when you move in, there's really just minimal work that needs to be done. Gulamat Seat is located in District 14 along Gulamat Road in the Geylang Precinct and we feel like this area has been often overlooked and prices are also lagging behind as compared to townships like Paya Lebar, Kalang and Lavender. So what that means for you as a buyer is that you get to purchase a freehold 3 bedder under a 1.5 million quantum in the RCR zoning or the City Springs zoning. But why we think this is a great area for your tenants is because we are in between two MRT stations, Mountbatten as well as our Junior MRT. So if you look at the other projects around the area such as Waterina, Sunny Spring and Central Grove which you recently sold two units there, you will realise that there's a gradual upwards trend in terms of the pricing. So, and what will happen when surrounding region prices are increasing at too fast of a pace, it will create a disparity effect making the District 14 prices too good to be missed out. In addition to all of this, there's also the decentralization of the CBD that's been going on as well. According to the URA Master Planning, by 2030, we can expect the Paya Lebar Air Base to be moving out and will be converted into an economic hub. And I want to give you a little bit of context on how big that space actually is. So a colleague was sharing with us and he said, from one end to the other, left to right, it would take you about 10 minutes to drive. If you're going from the bottom up, that will take you 20 minutes to drive and that's that's a really big piece of land that can be used and we can expect more tenant pools coming in and a lot more activities going on in the area. On top of that, the entire Geylang Belt has a plot ratio of 2.8 which potentially can build up to 20 plus storeys and that's a far cry from the current height cap of 8 storeys. So we're really excited to see what's to come in this area. So let's come back to the foyer. Smart lock has already been installed, DD box here. I think this is a safety feature. I assume that someone will call you from downstairs and you can see them through the screen. A nice long foyer area with a great length mirror. Great for me to check myself out constantly. This is quite a nice feature because you can pull this back and forth. Nice long shelf here, a piano. So here we're coming into the first bedroom. They have made this into a loft style bedroom which is really nice. A door here that they've put so that you know when the aircon's running you don't get it out. Another door there that's a very smart feature so we don't waste electricity. A great study area if you have a child or even if this is your space to use. Some bookshelves and extra storage at the bottom.
They've also doubled this up as a great workspace as well as a dining area. So I can see myself eating here very comfortably with a friend. Shall we head on up to the loft? They've chosen not to block out this area by choosing an opaque material but something more transparent instead because they have a child living here and they wanted to be able to monitor their child but of course if you want more privacy, you can choose something different which our listing managers will give you a quote when you come over. Okay, so just to give you a recap, this is a three-bed room duplex unit. There are three beds and three baths. The total size of this place is 1,119 square feet with a roof terrace up there which they have converted into another living room. Now we're going to walk into the second common bedroom. Queen size bed already put in. You could put a TV console, so a very nice comfortable place for you. Three panels of wardrobe here. Folding doors here to maximize the space for you. Standing shower on my right, your toilet, your basin, your sink. Some storage at the bottom where the sink is at. A window for ventilation as well, so that's awesome. Before we head out, let's show you the vanity area. Great light here, I was doing my touch up for my makeup, it was great. Um, storage, you can put your makeup at the corner. All in place for you and ready for you to move in. As mentioned just now, this is great for investment or for own stay and we think this is perfect for young couples using this as their pivot home. So what you can do is, you can stay here at the beginning and towards the later part, you can also choose to rent it out or even rent up the higher floors up there. Now the original layout actually shows you that you can use this as a study. Now that will require you to do a little bit more configuration but otherwise this is a great area already. Minimal work for you to get done if you want to start on your rental. This is your first common toilet. It can serve your guests as well as whoever who's staying in the first floor. Now if you realise all the bedrooms here are going to have a toilet which is why we think this is a great layout for investment and for renting out the units. So this is the study area that was actually in the original floor plan but of course they have converted this into more of a storage as well as a place to put their dishwasher. Many ways for you to reconfigure this. Oh you know what we could do? We could actually put a small little table here that you can pull out as well as stools. So after cooking you can just straight away have your meals here as well. That's great. And then storage over here at the bottom. Now since we've been talking so much about the possibilities of renting it out, let's put some numbers in so that we can help you to understand a little bit more and why we think this is such a great investment property. Because of the nature of this layout, we can rent this unit as a separate upper floor and the lower. The upper would be one floor on its own and the lower of course with the two bedrooms here. Potentially, you could do a three key. The lower level with the two individual rooms would share the communal kitchen. What that means for you as an investor when you take over this unit is that you essentially need to put in minimal work. If we talk about the upper floor bedroom, because there is a kitchen, a nice living room and also an ensuite, we estimate your rent to be about 2200 For the lower level with the ensuite bedroom, you could rent it out for 1007 and the other common bedroom at 1400 That would bring your total gross rental to 5300 per month. Assuming you purchase this at 1.45 million, your gross rental per month multiplied by 12 months over your quantum, that will give you 4.3% gross rental yield, which in today's context is above average. In today's low interest rate market, we think it is a good idea to lock in the interest rate and taking on a full leverage on your bank loan at 75% loan to value, 1.2% interest rate and a 30-year loan tenure your monthly mortgage will come up to be about 3,600. Now take your receivable monthly rental of 5,300, deducting away your mortgage and your MCST fees of 220 odd, your net amount will come up to be 1,480. Now this net amount is a surplus for 1,480 that is receivable on your end. So what that means for you when you're purchasing this unit is that you essentially need to put in zero dollars to maintain this property apart from the initial down payment that you'll be putting in. And with the positive cash flow that you'll be getting, you can use that to offset your loan for your second home or other investments that you have. Now if you're purchasing this as a couple, we think it would be a good idea for you to purchase this under one name, freeing up the other name for you so that you can use a healthy positive cash flow from your rental here to service your mortgage for your second home. So now that we're done with the numbers, let's head on upstairs to the second floor. Coming up to the second floor, the first thing you will see right here is the 
laundry area and you can't tell but this is actually part of the outdoor roof terrace but they put up a wall here to make this into a dedicated laundry area a door to enclose up the space of course if you want more space outside you can always take down the wall that's an option that you can explore another room here so this is your entry into the first common bedroom single bed here very good size here still great space for me to walk around a nice size wardrobe over there a study area on that corner each common bedroom here is fitted of course with an aircon and a fan i'm gonna show you the ensuite standing shower a vanity top with your storage at the bottom all right, finally, my favourite part of the home would be the open roof terrace. This deck was actually added by them. Uh, if not, it would have come fully bare. Great thing about this roof terrace is that there's actually a usable kitchen that you can use. This has been installed originally by the developers. Outdoor cooking is great. You could do a barbecue and not worry about the smell and the fumes. They have all the facilities that they need. They've even put a fridge at the corner here. So this here is a four-seater table that we stage to give you a concept of how you can use this space as a full living area. Um, still comfortable space for us to walk around and we've put a three-seater here. And what we've seen the other neighbours doing is that they've fully enclosed up this area here. So options for you, let's say you want sort of like an indoor, outdoorsy area. You could have the option of putting a PowerPoint there and having a TV so you can have a great dining spot here and have your friends come over. Finally, when we head on over here, the second exit and separate lock here, so you really don't even need to go down to the lower floor just to get up here. Your tenant or yourself will have the full privacy. Finally, let's talk a little bit about the facilities in this development as well as your amenities. You have your wading pool and your proper pool. You have a barbecue pit as well as a gym. If we talk about what's around the area, in terms of primary school, you have Konghua Primary within 590 meters, Geylang Methodist Primary within 800 meters. To get you around, we have two MRT stations, Mountbatten MRT Station, which is 560 meters away, and Aljunied MRT, which is 620 meters away. There's also a bus stop directly in front of the project to get you around. For your shopping, you can head on over to Paya Leba for majority of your amenities. You have Paya Lebar Square, Paya Lebar Quarters, Singapore Center, and of course your MRT station is just there as well. And of course we're so close to Kalang where you can get recreational needs as well as Kalang Wave Mall. And of course not forgetting your food options, there are lots of famous eateries across the whole entire Geelang stretch. A freehold 3 better property under the $1.5 million quantum in the city fringe, great for investment or own stay. We think that this property is a great find and one that's hard to come by. So if you're keen, do give our listing manager Brian a call. I'm Michaela, Property Lim Brothers, always happy to show you the place. So we're here in a three-bedroom study. Whoa! We're in a three du three three-bedroom duplex. We're in a three-bedroom duplex. Three hold. We're in a three hold three-bed duplex. And on top of that, and on top, and on top of that, only the lab. Okay, let's move. On. No, it's like before the camera shoots, right? You can see, it. and then when the camera's on, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Because of the 